Hi, I'm Dylan from Velocity Tech Solutions, and today we're going to be doing a video on the motherboard removal of a HP DL380 Generation 6 server. So first thing we're going to do is uh, make sure you have all of your cables and everything unplugged. I've already done that. Um, so we'll open up the machine, take off the lid. Now the first thing you're going to be doing when you're uh, dealing with this, you're going to remove this entire riser cage. So you're going to need a torque screwdriver and remove these two screws first. And then you'll see on the rear here, there are three more thumb screws. Loosen. Once they're all out, you'll notice these two little levers. Pull them up, and the entire riser cage is removed from the machine. Now the next thing you're going to do is uh, remove all the parts from the board itself. So we're going to remove this little shroud that's covering the props and memory. First we're going to remove the memory. I've only got one processor installed in here. Obviously, if you have a two proc machine, you'll just do the same on both sides. Then remove your proc. And then all the cables connecting to the board. You'll grab your SAS cables. Cables on left hand side here. Depending on the backplane you have, there may be two power cables, there's only one here, so we'll remove that. Now we've removed most everything off of the board. So, lastly, in order to fully remove this, you're going to need to remove your power supplies. Just pull down on the tab, pull out, they come out no problem. Now lastly, to remove the board, you'll notice there's one screw on the back here. This is securing in the board tray. So again, with the same style torque screwdriver, just remove it. And then loosen these two front thumb screws on the front of the board. Now once these are out, the entire board should be uh, unsecured. You'll just pull it towards you. I normally will kind of grab this because it gives you kind of a good handle. And then kind of pull it out. A little bit of a tight fit, but it should come out no problem. Now the last thing, depending on how you bought your board, it may not have the power supply uh, cage installed on it, so you may need to install your power supply cage onto the new board that you get. So again with the torque screwdriver, it helps if they are magnetic since you kind of have to go inside of here. You'll notice there's four little holes that you can kind of guide your screwdriver into. And lastly, unscrew this thumb screw that's connecting the power supply power um, into the actual cage itself. And then it should pull up and the entire cage will come out. And that should be it as far as the removal goes and then uh, you're pretty much all set to go and start installing your new board. And uh, hopefully this helps.